Bye week coming at a good time. It's a, it's a lot better to have the bye week coming off a win, right? Uh, most definitely. Uh, you're just going to it, feeling so much better, and just understanding. Um, you're right where you want to be when you're going to your bye week, and then just keep the main thing, the main thing. Understand that it's a bye week, not a vacation, and uh, just try to get my body back to where I can be successful and keep helping the team. Win. Five and zero run, a uh, lot different October than what you guys had a year ago. Nah, definitely much different. I mean, I really didn't realize that we had didn't win any games in October last year until uh, Press said it today, and I was like, dang, is, is it, this is a much better feeling. I know everyone feels much better. And we're just grateful for it, you know, because we, we, we know what it's to be like on the other side. And uh, we just want to enjoy this moment and uh, just kind of soak in it right now, but don't get too too stuck in the moment. That way we don't be able to move forward. How important is it to kind of take some time to get away maybe a little bit this week, but also get ready for the, the home stretch of the season? I mean, it's very important. I feel like it just puts me things in perspective. Like, I feel like for us, we want to get our body back uh, for the long run. Understand that this is our last break, uh, our last like chance to fully get like 100% healthy uh, before we go on this long run. Well, uh, Precious put up some uh, some notes, and we got the most fumbles in the league. We're in 32nd. Uh, so I feel like for us, it's ball security. Just um, not hurting ourselves just in position and uh, just getting points in the red zone. I feel like uh, we've been a good red zone team at times, but we have so much room for improvement. And uh, I feel like this starts with ball security, and that's something that we can fix. And, uh, we're going to uh, work out to get better, honestly. How will this team handle getting a lot of love and praise now that you guys are six and seven when the elite teams in the AFC? Um, I mean, we just kind of just block out the outside and try to keep the main thing the main thing. Uh, we, you know, last year we were going five, but no one's talking about us. And uh, we just kind of just try not to hear the outside noise. And uh, just understand that yeah, man, we don't want games nobody would talk about. So the way we get, keep getting them to talk is uh, they keep coming in here and being one and each and every week. And uh, just keep playing good football on display and uh, boss here. Take care of that. How about you personally? You get a lot more love when you're scoring touchdowns like this from from the fantasy football people and whatnot. I mean, I I get love whether I'm scoring touchdowns or not. Honestly, <laughs> so uh, this is much better than not scoring. True. And uh, I appreciate that. But I feel like uh, I've been uh, I've been a good running back my whole career, so this is not new to me. And um, I've always been one to kind of shy away from the attention. And I feel like now I'm at the part of my career where I just have to embrace that because it's not going nowhere. Um, I've been trying to refer my whole life, but I gotta understand I am who I am and just kind of just step into that role and just uh, become who God put me here to be. You've been the bell cow back at different times in your career. This year, you're doing the same thing, getting a lot of touches. The people are starting to like, oh, can he handle those touches for the full season? This isn't anything new for you. No, it's just football. I just come in week in and week in, working my body. Uh, this is what I get paid to do. And uh, what I'm out doing the field, like, it's just, we have to for one purpose just to win a game. And uh, whatever the coach calls, you know, you're not so much drilling and pumping. You're just something. Like, I love playing football, so, like, all the other stuff, I like, just. Just wearing to things like that, this is out the window, honestly. When you're on the field, you're not thinking about how that you're thinking about. What can I do to help my team win and uh, just win it? So the farthest thing from your mind is that you're one of the guys leading the NFL in touches. You don't, you want the ball. I mean, yeah, I don't play with it. I mean, that's why I play football. I, I, I want to be the one to score touchdowns. I didn't get in the game not to score touchdowns. But, I mean, I never I never want to play defense because I don't want to stand chasing guys, honestly. I always want to be when they're chasing me and scoring to get in the end zone. So, I feel like I'm doing what I've been wanting to do my whole life, and uh, I'm just enjoying it. And, uh, just being present and just, uh, just, just being who I was called here to be. Any advice for Tank as he kind of goes through some of the rookie struggles? Oh, uh, most definitely. Just, uh, just don't get too high, don't get too low. Uh, I mean, he could definitely go back and just watch me from last year and, 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 and see how I kind of transitioned and got over those problems for me. Last year I put the ball on the ground a couple times. And, uh, that just goes to show him that like, you're in the NFL now, everybody's a good football player. I had to learn that. Just understand my things that I did in college I can't do no more. And just put two hands on the ball and understand that one issue you are. It's, it's just one you are. Like, protect the ball, and that's what we've got to do.